Hi friends, good morning. I am Sarah Jane Gage. I am a Kripalu yoga instructor, a functional fitness trainer. I'm here with you and with the YMCA this morning for a body weight hit class, high intensity interval training. And so our goal here is to spike up the heart rate really high and then bring it back down. And so we'll do that with intervals. Uh, today we're gonna space out our intervals a little bit more um, and you'll see what that looks like. I don't need to tell you too much about that, but really your focus throughout this workout is to make sure you're taking care of yourself. Make sure that what you do feels good in your body. If something doesn't feel quite right, you can always modify or back off. Uh, the other thing is if you do have a fitness tracker, Feel free to use that to keep an eye on your heart rate. Notice when you're able to get it up really high and how you're able to get it back down. So we're focusing in on recoveries, slowing down the breath, slowing down the heart rate. I'll remind you of those things as we go. And most importantly, have fun. Working out should be fun. We should have fun in our bodies, right? Penny is gonna hang out with us. Uh, so hopefully she stays nearby. If not, I may have to go find her momentarily, but huh. let's see what happens. So my friends, let's start in a jog. Keeping things simple and easy to start, find your light jog. If you wanna get a little take that butt kick, feel free, it's kind of a fun variation, but Whatever variation of a jog in place, just to get things moving, take what you need. Keep it going. 30 seconds here. prefer a high plank, feel free to take that. Whatever variation you choose, keep the tailbone in neutral and your breath flows the whole time. So our goal here is really bringing that heart rate back down. Let the breath be nice and slow. You can stay there, you're fine. It'll come right next to you. Breath is slow and flowing. If the knees need to come down at any point, allow them to come down. They can always come down for a moment and then come back up as well. Fifteen seconds. Come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on up to your feet as you're ready, right into those jumping jacks. So traditional, you can keep them there, high impact if that works for your body. If it doesn't, slow it down, step it out. Slow and control. Here we go. Let's try to get that heart rate back up, my friends. Keep going with those jumping jacks. We've got another 30 seconds here. Oh, hey, Shannon. Good morning. Penny says hi. Good morning, other friends. <laughs> Let's go. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on down to the mat. Find your tabletop for just a moment. 
Shift the weight over to the left hand, left leg, find your side plank. So this is supported side plank where you have your knee down. You might choose to rise it up and hold here. Whichever variation you choose respects your body. Bonus points if you can take off a shirt while you hold it. <laughs> On your next exhale, lower back to that tabletop. Shift it right over to the other side. So we're coming to the right side this time. You can hang out in that supported side plank, keeping your knee down if you'd like. Or maybe you kick it up. Find that full side plank. Ooh, what a good girl. You helping? Yeah. Your breath is flowing here, so the heart rate is coming back down, my friends. Let it slow down. Ten, five, four, three, two, one. Come on up to your feet. Find those high knees this time. So low impact. We're here. Driving the knee up as high as you can, right from the abdominals. Maybe it's high impact and you jump into it. Your choice. And some is always better than none. So take what you can, but keep moving. Thirty seconds here. What can you do? Fifteen. Five. Two. One. Woo. Get water if you need it. Holy cow. And then. Alright. You're fine. We're staying standing. Feet are a little wider than your shoulders. Hand behind your head. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Take a little twist. Let the obliques and the abdominals do the work. So again, we're bringing heart rate back down here. So it's slow and controlled. Whew. Oh, and I'm gonna change this song because this is not gonna get us amped for the next one. You guys have 25 seconds here, my friends. Come on. Do what you can. It doesn't matter if Shannon's doing 200 and Mickey's doing 10. You do what you can. What works for you here. Keep it going for six, five, four, three, Two, one, let's come on into those burpees and get them done, huh? Let's do it. Find your space, bend down, hands to the mat, hop it back, bring it down as low as you can, right back up, jump it up and make it explosive. And you can always take a slow, modified version. So maybe it's a step, coming up, coming back down, stepping back nice and slow, lowering. Take what you can. This is your workout. It's meant to serve you. So really, find what it is that serves you best here. Thirty seconds to do what you can, and then we'll focus on some muscle building and slow 
that heart rate back down. Come on. You're okay. Didn't mean to bump you. Ten seconds. Do what you can here. Ten. Away from the camera. Come here. Hey. Ten. Coming to our backs, my friends. So roll on down to your back when you're ready. Find that bridge pose. Right. Penny, come here. Pen. Come here. All right. Laying down, shoulders ground. As you inhale, rise the hips up, squeeze those glutes. Lower them down just a couple of inches and then rise it right back up. So staying right at the top, lower down, bring it right back up. Keep that pulse going right at the top. Keep it going, my friends. I'm just going to check what people are typing here. Oh, hey, Donna. Hi, Christina. Oh, dog park friends. How lovely. Stay right at the top of your bridge here those glutes to sleep. Third, to do what you can. If it works better for you to keep those hips just pressed up high, that's okay as well. Hold up high, squeezing the glutes, Pressing hips up, catching your breath. Take that long, slow breath. Whew. For 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Find your way into your high plank. Let's come into those mountain climbers. So you can take that spinal rock right over if you want to be fancy. I just got lazy halfway through, so that's what happened. <laughs> You're in your high plank, right into those mountain climbers. Knees to chest, keep the butt down low. Let the abs work hard here as you keep it quick. We're here for one minute, my friends, come on. We can do anything for a minute. Thirty seconds, come on. Keep it going. Stretch on back in that child's pose. Lengthen out. Breath starts to slow. Rise on up to your knees. Support your knees here. So if you need to roll your mat over a few times or roll the blanket over, please do. Big toes together behind you. So let me show you. Big toes together. And we're going to lower down. Just barely tap, rise right back up. Drop it down, rise right back up, squeeze those glutes. As we do, maybe you want to incorporate that delt squeeze. So you decide how much of this you take. Again, you can do half, you can do just the top half if your legs are shot. Take what you need from this workout. Slow the breath down. 
take a little less of this if you're having a hard time slowing the breath down. 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, whoo, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. When you are ready, my friends, come on up to your feet. Let's get that heart rate back up. Oh, great. Jump squats. Good thing I looked. <laughs> so your jump squats. You might be right here. Keeping it up high. Depends on your range of motion. You can take it that way with a little hop. If you can get down low, tap the floor. Keep that core engaged. Take that little tap. Jump right back up. Okay, so that's your other variation. Or low impact. And then it's just slow and controlled. Squeezing at the top. No matter which variation you take. So check in with your body. What do you need for this next little under a minute? Keep it going, my friends. Finish it strong. Where are we at? 11.20. So we're halfway there. A little over halfway. You got this. Last 10 seconds here. Come on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice work, my friends. Come on down to the mat. Let's slow it back down. Ten, stay close. Good girl. All right, friends. <laughs> uh, let's come into that bridge to start. Lengthen out the left leg. Keep the right arm long. Using the abs, opposite hand to opposite foot. Take a V crunch and lower. Slow and controlled. Starting on one side and then we'll bring it over to the other. Slow and controlled. So we're using good form. We're using our abdominals. Penny, come here. And you also are letting that heart rate drop back down. You're allowing it to slow down between each interval. Good girl, Penny. We've got 10 seconds more on this side, my friends. Come on. Four, three, two, one. Nice work. Take it right over to the other side. Opposite hand, opposite foot. Abdominals do the work. Keep it going. 20 seconds more here on this side. For you. 
we'll hang out here for a minute. So get that heart rate back up. Work hard here. Ooh, and then we'll slow it back down. Good work, my friends. I love seeing so many people tune in. Hey, Courtney. Come on. 30 seconds left. Pick up that heart rate these last 30 seconds. Come on. And if you have your fitness tracker on, check what your heart rate gets to before we start to slow it down. Good girl, Penn. Good girl. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's come on into that plank. You decide, is it a high plank? Maybe you prefer forearms. You can hold, or you can take a little toe tap. Whichever variation you choose here, including maybe knees down, breath is slow. Let the breath flow so the heart rate can start to come back down. Twenty seconds here. What can you do? On that next exhale, drop the knees down, sink it back, stretch out the arms. Woo. Let the breath flow here. Let the arms rest for a moment because we're going to get into those triceps next. When you are ready, those fingers stay really wide. I'm going to give you the stripped down version and then build on it. So the easier version, we stay on our knees. We shoot over the hands, 90 degree angle. Bring it right back up. Core is engaged, full time, rocking back and forth. If you'd like a little bit more, come into that table, tuck the toes, take bare, so your knees are hovering three inches, and then take the whole thing there, hovering. So the knees never tap down. You take the same, oh, the same movement, overshooting the hands, Trying for that 90 degree angle dip. It's another option if you'd like. We are getting the heart rate up here, so don't be afraid to work hard. Feel free to push it a little bit. <laughs> Wherever you are, 25 seconds more, come on. Do what you can. as we bring the heart rate back down. Whew. Interlace fingers right behind your head. And then keeping hips grounded, bend the knees. Take a little toe tap here. This is a pain. All right, here we go. Toe tap down. Using the lower abdominals to do the work. If you need a little bit more there, and you can still breathe freely as you do it, 
feel free to peel the shoulder blades up a couple inches first and then take it. Getting into upper and lower abs in that variation. If you so choose, whichever you choose, you got 30 seconds left, my friends, come on. Let's let that heart rate slow, that breath lengthen out, those abdominals turn on. Woo! Ten. Four, three, two, one. Pull those knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze. And then rock it right up to your feet. As you get to your feet, we come into that second set of your jumping jacks. High impact is traditional. Low impact is stepping it out. Nice and quick, even though everything else is controlled. One minute here. We got this. We can do anything for a minute. There we go. Keep it going. Penny's here for moral support, cheering you guys on. Clearly she's working hard, right? Keep it going. Let's finish those jumping jacks strong. Twenty seconds. Come on. Pick it up if you can. You got a little bit more. Pick it up. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Woo! Good work, my friends. Get a drink. Catch your breath. What do we got left here? Oh, we still got a little time. Alright, uh, what are we coming into next? That's my question. Oh, lunges, sorry guys. Just trying to think where we were. Alright, so come to the top of your space. Keep that right leg planted to start. The left foot comes back behind you. Find your lunge. Knee comes right over the ankle, straight down. Step it back together and back. So it doesn't matter how big or how wide they are. Keep them slow, controlled, catching your breath. Sorry, Pen. Keep mine a little more narrow so I'm not kicking her. <laughs> Catch your breath here. Twenty seconds here. One, nice work my friends. Come on into that second set of high knees. We're right here for low impacts. High impact, we're jumping it up. It's your choice. Take what you need. Just gonna check. Are we saying anything super important? Oh, hey Justin. Welcome friends. Keep it going, high knees. Take what you can here, 30 seconds. So even if you're taking low impact, as I'm choosing right now, it's quick. Get that heart rate back up. 15. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Nice work, friends. Come on down to the mat. Find your high plank. Oh, okay. Well, my battery's gonna die. Isn't that fun? Oh, let's see what happens there. <laughs> keep it going. Find that high plank. You can keep it up high in that high push-up or bring it down to your forearms. Hold right there. That's fine as well. And as you hold, that breath flows so you can slow the heart rate back down. Thirty seconds here. Come on. Breath is long and slow. Keep that gaze right down at the ground. Ten. Five. Four. Three. Two, one, drop those knees down, shift back, child's pose, stretch out the arms. And then rise on up, come up to your feet. As you are ready, last cardio burst here is gonna be your choice. So we've taken a few different things. You can choose to take one of those and Take a repeat if that calls you. And if there's another form of cardio that you know and love that you want to take for this last minute or so, go for it. So the options that we've already taken are jogging, jumping jacks, mountain climbers, high knees, or perhaps your burpees. And so no pressure, but that's what I'm taking is my burpees. <laughs> Whatever you choose, you're moving quick. You're getting that heart rate back up there. Let's go, we can do this. And then we get to stretch it out. Just 20 seconds left. Come on, friends, you can do this. Finish it strong. Six, five, four, three, two, oh, one. Whew. That is it, friends. Let's stretch, huh? Holy cow. Come on up to your feet. When you are ready, feel free to get water as needed. Spread those feet a little wider than your shoulders. Oh, all right. The sun is brutal. <laughs> Rise it up, hands up overhead. Take a look at the fingertips. Inhale, get tall. As you exhale, fold forward. Inhale, find flat back. Get long through your crown. Exhale, fold. A few more times. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, fold. Next time you fold all the way forward, take a pause there, start to peel it back up. Honey, leave it. Hey, leave it. Sorry, she's chasing stuff. <laughs> Come on up to your feet, bring those legs closer together, a little wider than shoulders this time. Inhale, rise the hands up overhead, gentle back bend. And then as you exhale, drop the hands back behind you. Find your yoga mudra arm. Try to press that heart forward a little bit more here. Let the chest open up. 
You can hang out standing up tall if that's enough for you. Or you might lead with the heart, start to dive forward. If you fold forward, keep the shoulders away from the ears. Let go of tension in the head and neck. On that next inhale, rise it right back up. Release that breath. Circle the shoulders down and back a few times. Rise the arms up overhead. Drop that right hand back behind you. Find that tricep stretch. Gently pulling over. And then switch it over to the other side. Drop those arms down. Bring your bicep in front of your body. Doesn't matter what you start with. And then bring the opposite over. A little stretch there. Penny, here. Penny, here. Come on. Release that grass. Shake it all out. Take an inhale. Rise the hands up overhead. Exhale, release. Two more times. Inhale, high. Exhale, release. Inhale, high. Exhale, release. Great job, my friends. Thank you so much for working out with me. As always, I am so grateful to be able to continue working out with you, to practice yoga with you. Um, if you have not heard yet, the schedule for the YMCA virtual classes and in-person classes are changing. Um, they're, they're changing a lot. So my point in sharing that is please make sure that you pay attention to the YMCA Facebook pages, to the groups, to the instructors as we update you and let you know what classes are coming up next. The virtual ones will be switching week to week. So uh, I don't know what I'm teaching next week yet, but feel free to be my friend on Facebook and I'll share it there and then you can come back and hang out. <laughs> In the meantime, my friends, be well, be safe, be kind. See you next time. Thanks again for hanging out. Oh, hey, Carrie. No, she did not get the chipmunk, thank God. She just, she likes to be difficult. That's Penny. <laughs> Bye, friends.